There's something that I need to do before we all die someday. When I was a little kid, this, where I lived, right there, it's true, by uh, that street, and that's the apartment building. And down at the end, at the corner, there's an old guy named Marco. And he lived, that's it right there, lived there by himself. He was so nice to me. He was, it looked kind of like this actor, though, want to play Grandpa and Willy Wonka. He would take my, me and my brother for walks. He had a dish of candies. We hand out the candy. Just he, my favorite adult in the whole world. Then we moved. Yeah, again, I had the kind of family that was always on the run from something or to something. And the day that we left, and I'm, I'm saying goodbye, uh, he handed me a copy of this book. I, he wrote it. It's his one and only published book. Turns out Marco was his middle name. And this is a true story. He really did signed it and handed it uh, to me and said, you know, maybe I might like it someday, you know, when I'm older. He never published anything else. I looked it up. Uh, and I guess the dream of being a big time writer had already died by the time he met me. But I lost it. Of course, I lost the book. I don't know where, but I'm so, I'm an idiot about important things. So, you know, of course I lost it. But I never forgot. And I found a copy at a distant library. And I had him send it to me, you know, through interlibrary loan. And I made a PDF of it. And I started putting it places on the internet where to stay. And you, the links are right below this. You can get it. Anyhow, Marco, I know you're long gone by now. Hey, he was old back then, right? But hey, here I am. Now I'm old guy too. And you were so nice to me. I'm sorry. You never got to be a famous writer, but, uh, look, sharing your book with the whole world, now it's never going away, it's gay, it's, uh, digital now, so, if we get forgotten, we're getting forgotten together, just like buddies we used to be.